Last time on the collaboration build with Globe Trekker. Cutting the door out, five eighths of an inch off the bottom is a perfect gap alignment to leave an eighth of an inch across the bottom. Um, looks nice and square and straight. I'm very happy. Now for the exciting conclusion of the three day habitat build with Globe Trekker. You guys stay tuned. All right guys, what we got here is a approach angle or a cab over 45 degree transition piece. So a few things to note, the panel fits in between here and like all of our extrusions has double ceiling pockets, glue pockets, and the other panel comes here. So you have a 45 degree transition, 80, 20 on the corners. So you can actually use it for um, attaching things. This is the inside piece. So what we'll do is where you would like to drill, you can drill holes. And this actually is a drill guide bushing. So you just drill through this way and then screw from here into the plastic. And that will hold this in place during the assembly process while all the glue dries. Creates a sealed environment, sealed joint. The beauty of this design is this will actually adapt from very small, inch and a half, all the way out to very thick panel sections. So you can use this with pretty much any composite panel system to create a 45 degree transition. It is important to measure the bottom and top extrusions to determine if there is any variance that you will need to adjust for. Measure twice and cut once. After you're done cutting, test fit each piece. Remember to use the built-in drill guide extrusions to drill your holes. Ensure that all the extrusions and the panel have been thoroughly wiped down with alcohol to ensure good glue adhesion. We cut and placed a couple of 2x4s just as an added safety measure to prevent the rear wall from sliding down just in case the glue had not set yet. Then Bill set to work on gluing all of the corners where the extrusions were going to meet. We then push the approach angle panel into place and use the straps to hold it into position. Instead of using the ratchet strap to hold the extrusions in place while they dry, you can also use these temporary brackets. The brackets are meant to be used as assembly aids, but can be left in place after the glue has completely cured. Next, we ran four beads of Sikaflex down the interior of the extrusion. Then we set each piece into its interior position. While we have access, we can seal our environment, all of the inside of the extrusion, inside of all of this. So we can actually seal off the environment, not once, but twice, actually multiple times. Four beads of Sikaflex down the exterior of the extrusion and it was ready to go on as well. Once again, the need for these ratchet straps are eliminated when you use the newly designed end cap. I held the extrusion in place while Bill went into the inside and screwed the polyurethane thermal brake bar into place. Well, we are finally done. I'm we? tired. We are done. <laughs> so it looks absolutely beautiful. You see the approach angle. It's um, all the extrusions look just fantastic. Um, it, I, 
I'm kind of speechless right now. Of course, I am a little tired too, but day three, three days. I was done it three days. I know. This is actually just an afternoon and evening. <laughs> sure, it's only seven hours a day. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, thanks for coming along on this really epic journey with me. It has been an incredible three days of build, but you know what? That is not the end of this story, not by a long shot. Oh no, the story does not end here. Here's a sneak peek of what's coming up next on this epic Globe Trekker build. For a little fun in science day? I am. <laughs> Give it out a burn, Dave. Watch it burn. Put the flame up there where they can see it. Alright. But notice something. Get it burning, then stop. Let go of the flame, and guess what happens? It won't it won't stay lit. It won't propagate, it won't keep going. It goes out. Flame retarded. Thanks for coming along and enjoying another really cool episode with me. I really do appreciate it. If you don't mind subscribing, I would dearly love to have you as a subscriber. Like the video, comment. It's all very, very cool. Until next time, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless.